look at a walking box that's supposedly icing up. I'll grab my gloves and my tools and we'll jump in there and take a look. Alright, so yesterday everything was frozen. All the produce was frozen and everything? Okay. The salsa was frozen too? Okay. I'll check them out. Let's check it out and see what happens. Basics cleaning up the fan, the fan guard, the evaporator coil, and then we'll get into the TXV. Doing some pump down on it, things like that. We got the field piece probes hooked up. We're all cleaned up. We're running. We are at 55 degrees in the box. And here's what we're looking at right here. 72 suctions give me a 32 degree evaporator. Box is hot. I'm at a 15 superheat. I want to check that superheat as we approach set point. There it's the valve's adjusting right now. I'm with 404. Those are the only two probes I have hooked up. Let's see if we get the boxes cooling down. Where are we at now? 52. comes down our superheat. See if it'll stabilize. Uh, I'll tune back in in a few minutes when the temperature comes down the box stabilizes. I turn the temperature off so we can check on the pump down. Do the pump down test. That was a solenoid de-energizing. We should see this pressure drop. And the um, compressor turn off. See that? I'm not sure where that pressure switch is set. We're going to have to check that on the roof. If we can get up there today. Building like this, sometimes they don't let us. i got to get the keys to get to the roof. I don't know what time they close at. It's almost 5 o'clock right now. That compressor's still running. I don't think we're doing any cooling, though. No, it's off. That solenoid, it's, it's uh, sealing. Okay, so that's one thing we got to fix is the pressure switch. Okay, I got the superheat to like 9.6. Adjusted it. My tip's at 40 her down just a hairball hairball more just a hairball then we'll uh, we'll let that adjust for a bit and see where that settles down at keys to this place we're trying back here to get on the roof I couldn't get up there last night so I got to get up there today I'm wondering if that compressor might be low capacity because it was taking a long time to pump down last night so I want to check that probably scrub the coil a little bit check the charge check the pressures see what's going on with this condensing unit um, and we'll get back here and see you got to come all the way around the back of the building with the trolls you gotta lock your stuff up really good because you're in troll bola bill right here um, we'll get up on the roof and see what's happening all right so I just unlock the ladder it goes up there and I had to come from back there the V2 is like lurking back there. You come through that door, come through here, come through there to get up. So let's get over there. Uh, up on the roof here. Bunch of big Linux package units. The L series. Those are actually really good units. I actually like those. But I'm just going to be working on a dinky 
refrigeration compressor over here. We got the I don't know if the wires coming out on the video. Let's keep the seagulls out. I'm on that roof again. Alright, there's the unit running. Let's see what the uh, condenser looks like. Hey, not too bad. That's been tidied up we'll get the gauge up on her it's got the analogs going we'll get that going here I want to check that pressure switch pop down too all right I gauged up on the unit here's my operating pressures not bad not bad at all 404a medium temp so what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and pump this thing down from the receiver here. It was really seemed like it was taking forever to pump down yesterday. That compressor is from 2008. Looks like a 2000, yeah, 2008. She's got 10 on her. Let's see how she does here. Valve's even holding. Let's take a look at the side glass. Uh, might, yeah, it might be bleeding by a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Now it's pumping down. Tighten her up a bit. There she goes. Did want to adjust that cut out. Let's see here. Okay. There we go. Let's see where the cut in is. Okay, I wanted to see if the valves were holding. Looks like they're holding pretty good to me. Right there. Not bad. All right, and let's check that cut out one more time. Wrenching it down. So today. So the, I checked the box yesterday, the superheating stuff, um, and then um, it ran fine overnight, and today the box was fine, but I wanted to get up here and check this. There we go. pressure switch needed adjusted by looking at the probes yesterday let's see how she does today So after checking it out, here's what we got going. So we're about 100 degrees condensing, just a little bit over 100. And we're about a 22 degree evaporator, 23 degree vap, right in there. Those pressures look good to me for medium temp. Sight glass is cool. So I had to get up here and check this. Um, seems to be working good. So really don't have an answer why that box froze everything, unless something got in that solenoid. And it was bleeding by and not shutting off and now it's pumping down every time so that's a tough one i honestly don't know what to tell the guy other than we checked everything and it's working fine right now i mean what else can you do these are tough ones that's a tough one that is a tough one <laughs>